Well, I mean, I'm endorsing him because I feel um, he's one of the only figures out in Haiti that can actually uh, inspire the whole country to unite, not only in Haiti, but also in America, you know, in Canada, the Haitians that are both Canada and, um, well, the Haitians that are in North America. And so, um, and I like his judgment, you know, I think that he wants to bring everyone together. He doesn't want to exclude some groups and just, you know, him and his um, entourage, if you will. How do you feel about his candidature uh, compared to Wyclef's uncle or Leslie Gota, who's uh, the special envoy of the government of Haiti and who might have more experience on the political uh, and administrative area? I mean, listen, I think every candidate that's running, you know, I don't know their um, real intent, but um, I would say that I think that they run because they think they can change Haiti. But um, as far as experience, you know, I can make a counter argument for experience. Right? When you look at all the um, previous presidents, they all had, they all had experience, mm -hmm. but they didn't do anything with the country. So then experience is not a good argument to come up with, right? I respect um, Raymond Joseph. I know he was the ambassador to Haiti. Yeah. But I don't know if the people will be excited about him. And I don't know if the people will really care about Raymond Joseph. And so you need someone that they're going to be like, wow, I, I like this guy. So I'm willing to give him goodwill like they did with Aristide. If, when Aristide came, I do nothing about Aristide when he first came. I wasn't even really into politics, my family were. But I found myself liking the guy just because the whole nation liked him. I didn't even know what I liked about him. I yeah, but you, that's the importance though. You need to know what the program of a politician is. You can't just say, oh, no, I like this of course. person because no, no. he's popular. Of course, but, but it's, uh, no, it's not about popularity, but it's about... It is in this case no. because you have two celebrities, one that's really popular in Haiti, one that's really popular in America, and if it wasn't for these two candidates, then I don't want to say that nobody would care about Haiti, but it would definitely not be on the forefront of the No, of course, no one would care, but, 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 but popularity can give you some goodwill, right? I listen, what Wyclef has done for Haiti, superb. I mean, he brought a national attention. Listen, I remember when we first decided we were going to go to Haiti. I said to Clef, you want to go to Haiti? For what? This is back in 97. I said, there's nothing in Haiti. So we go there, you know, we, first we did the Grammys. We were searching to find a Haitian flag. We were like, listen, if we go win, we're going to pull out the flag, make people proud. See, the, what you got to understand is popularity can work if you know how to bring people together that are experts, right? Because pride in your nation is the most important thing to move a nation. Wyclef is important because he is popular, but I don't feel like he can unite the whole country in North America. I think he has a certain constituents, and I think he is respected amongst all the Haitians, but he can't unite all the Haitians the way I believe Michelle can. So I'm using my celebrity to endorse him, to give him a certain visibility in North America. See, the attitude I had prior to this about Haiti was, man, forget Haiti. These Haitians are never learned. They're hard-headed. So I was like, I'm American, I don't care about Haiti. But you know what I realized? I could have been that Haitian kid that my mother and father decided not to come to America, to live in Haiti and be born in Haiti and be one of those kids living in a tent right now. I've been privileged to be born in America, to go and start a group that is renowned as one of the most successful and critically acclaimed group. It's only right that I now lend my service as a citizen of the world and as a citizen of Haiti where my blood is Haitian to come in and help. And this is my way of helping instead of just standing back and saying, ah, you know what, whatever happens with Haiti happens with Haiti. All right, well, thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you for being with us, for taking Thanks. the time. Thank you, Prime. Thank you very much.